Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're gonna to try to buy some time on this old culvert. You can see I'm standing here in the swale. This is where the water runs down through, runs all the way down to the St. Johns River, about maybe a quarter mile from here. But that culvert is collapsing. That's galvanized, it's 32 inch uh, steel galvanized culvert and it's collapsing. So the driveway is starting to dip and I could also see some of the landscaping is also sinking in there. So I'm gonna to try to buy some time rather than tear up all my landscaping. We can clean this old culvert out and pull that pipe through there by a few more years. So the natural flow of this swale is this direction running down to the St. Johns River. And if you look at this concrete, can you see that? It's all cracked up. That tells me that not only is the driveway sinking, I don't know if you can see it in that shot, but the driveway sinking and that old galvanized culvert is rusting away. So the first thing we need to do is clean this whole area out so we can set up the mud pump and then we, hopefully I can just blow all that dirt out of this line and pull a brand new 12 inch culvert down through here. Let's get started. In the center of this culvert, there's either a coupling or it has collapsed or it's sinking and it's rusting away and that's why we're doing this. I mean, you can see this. As far as I can dig, that's full of dirt. Okay, let's set up the mud pump. So what I'm using is this tote. Um, it contains, you could put grain in it or whatever. We're putting water in it. We've got about 300 gallons in there. And then we're going from the two inch outlet. You can see this is the inlet line coming into the mud pump. And then we've got a two inch line coming out and we're gonna reduce that down to one inch. And what it does is it creates tremendous amounts of pressure and I'll show you that here in a second. So I'll use my little probe first and see if we can't just clean this area out right here before we start going deeper into the culvert. And then I've got another piece that's 34 or 35 feet long um, this is what I used to drill the well with. You can see it laying back through the swale. We'll, we'll continue by using that piece to clean out the rest of that culvert. The amount of pressure that this thing creates is tremendous. It's like trying to hold a fire hose. It's really, it tries to push it right out of your hand. And you can see just with that little five foot section of one inch pipe, I'm pushing that dirt pretty much all the way through. It's amazing. So let's clean this off and push a little bit more. Like I said, this pump is pretty powerful. This is a Harbor Freight two inch mud pump. And the way we create the pressure is reducing that down to the one inch pipe. And I've done this so many times. I've done wells with it. But look at the amount of, of dirt that comes out. Can you see that? This is just with the five foot probe. And look how much water comes out of this pipe. That culvert is almost clean, but of course it's collapsing and rusting through. So you can see it's dammed up just because of how high the swale is, but we probably got quite a bit of it out of there. Looking pretty good. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's use that big long section and blow the rest of this out. So we need to add that 30 foot section on there. Just a really quick, add some glue, push it together. We're ready to go. This time we're gonna use this 30 foot section and push this all the way through. It's just gonna get the rest of that out of there. So right there in the middle of the driveway, I kept getting stuck even with this little one inch pipe. Something is going on there. Either there's a coupling there or it has bent and collapsed. Remember, it's rusting and the whole pipe was full of sand and debris. But I got it all out of there, but there's still something going on there in the center. And here in a second, you'll see all the water coming out the downward side. It, it really comes out good. And you think, yeah, this is in great shape, but 
there is some problems here. Take a look at this water. Look at this. That jet is so powerful, it blew all the dirt. So we, we really do have a clean culvert, except something's wrong in the center. And I'm just about ready to try to pull that 12 inch culvert pipe through there. But guess what? So my original plan was to pull this 20 foot section of 12 inch culvert pipe through my old culvert. I stopped by a construction site of a new development and spoke to the supervisor. I asked him, you know, could I buy a 12 inch piece of culvert pipe? I told him who I was and he laughed and he said, Chuck, I watch all your videos. I'd be happy to donate a piece of pipe. That was pretty cool. So they helped me load this 20 foot section onto the top of the truck. But unfortunately, the culvert pipe was in such bad shape that it had broken in the center and there was not enough room to pull this pipe through. So on to plan B. Plan B. This is SDR 35 sewer pipe and I'm going to put three pieces together. They come in 10 foot sections and I'm going to glue these all up. And then I'm going to use the lawn tractor to try to pull this pipe through the old culvert. That old culvert is in really bad shape. But if I can get this through there, if I can get 30 feet through there by pulling it with a lawn tractor, maybe I can get another four inch piece of pipe and that would give us 10 inches of drainage. Remember, it is so hot that I don't really want to dig this up right now. I'd rather wait until December. So hopefully if I can get 10 inches of drainage underneath of this culvert, I can buy some time. And that's what this is all about, buying time for a failed culvert. Okay, let's pull this chain through here. It's actually a chain and uh, I forget what it is, but it's heavy. Hopefully I can get it all the way through. Here it comes. What we're gonna do is hook that up to the six inch SDR 35, and then I'm gonna use the lawn tractor just to pull it through. So a little bit of prep work. I need to tie a rope onto here and then of course onto the chain that's going to pull it through. Then we're going to test out the Gorilla Tape. <laughs> we just don't want to get a lot of dirt down inside of it. It's really important that you glue up this SDR 35. Even though it has that bell on the end of it, you slide it together, that glue is important because we're gonna pull that with the lawn tractor, as you can see. And it went right through there pretty well. Remember I said I was having trouble with the little uh, jet pipe, the one inch pipe. I had the same problem here with the six inch. It Right in the center, it kind of got stuck, but just kept on pulling with the tractor and it did finally go all the way through without any problem. Okay, here's our six inch SDR 35 and I can push it, but it's pretty heavy. So we're clear through to the other side. Let's try to put a four inch pipe through here. See that gives us 10 inches of, of drainage through here. Remember this is 15 inch culvert. So if we can get more drainage, great. And the other thing is that this culvert, what happened to it was probably on installation, it bent down in the center. And what, caught, what happened is it rusted through in the center of the driveway, causing that driveway to sink. So I'm basically just buying some time. That's all I'm doing is buying some time because it's so hot here in the summertime. I can wait if it can last until December, that would be great. So basically, it's the same process we just did. We need to feed the line, pull the chain through, then I'm gonna drill a hole into the four inch so that I can tie the chain to that pipe. Remember, I'm going to use the lawn tractor to pull all this pipe through there. 
But it's real important that we glue all this pipe together, just like we did the uh, six inch, because we're going to pull it with the tractor. And if it comes apart underneath, then it was, of course, all wasted. I'm going to try to set this past the coupling. You'll see me push it through there. I'm going to glue on the last 10 foot. So now we've got 30 feet of four inch pipe that we're going to pull through there. Getting ready to pull it. This was the fun part and it was also a problem. Take a look, watch what happens. Because the middle of this culvert is where it's collapsed, it actually got stuck. You can see it grabbed a hold of that six inch, but I just gave it a little gas on the tractor and it popped right through. So now we have roughly 10 inches of drainage that's going through this old culvert. Remember that we were just buying time. And if you can see the depression that's forming across the driveway, what's happening is it's sinking. And in the center of this old culvert is actually broken and it's down like this. So there was, I tried to pull that 12 inch pipe under there, but I couldn't get it through just because it had collapsed so far in the center. But we got 10 inches of drainage through here. Eventually have to dig all this up. You can see the concrete's all broke. This all has to be dug out all the way across. I'll try to save that palm. That's an expensive palm to put back in, but we can probably dig that out of there and save it. But yeah, a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Buy some time. So I think I bought six months worth of time there. Get through this hot, sweaty weather here in the summer. Next, we can move on to something that's a lot more fun, and that is hardscaping, landscaping. I'm going to show you what we do with that, too. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.